Hello and welcome to episode 11 of our Timberborn Update 3 hard mode let's play with the Iron Teeth faction. Last episode we did a whole bunch of little things and reorganized a bunch of stuff, put ourselves in a really good position for the future, and I think we're going to be just fine as we move into, I guess, you can consider this the end game. We haven't unlocked anything to do with uh, terraforming yet. And we haven't built any monuments, but we've gotten some sort of handle on pretty much everything else in the game outside of the mines. And we haven't we haven't done any books. We haven't done the treated planks yet, but we might get there this episode. Depends on what else we're able to take care of. But there's a couple of things that I want to go ahead and lay out for today in terms of accomplishing and making our town a little bit better. Let's go ahead and pause real quick. Get our bearings. A couple of you pointed out that this forester is not being able to take full advantage of this area over here because the only access to the other side of the river is across this bridge. So one of the things we're going to do is build a bridge directly across here and get rid of these trees which we can do by clearing the planting area. Those will get harvested and just not replanted. Ooh, we've got... Okay. These three... These three are very young, so we might just kind of leave those, but we can go ahead and put our bridge in here anyway. And by bridge, I mean just a platform. You know what? No, we can have... And have this be a little bit nicer looking. Just like that. And what that's going to do is going to allow us to have our tree farm expand substantially over here. And we're going to have to put in a uh, water dump. Like we did right here. So of course we'll have to uh, get that put in. I imagine we'll probably end up putting... Maybe right here is probably a good spot. We'll just go ahead and get started building that. And we'll connect that right up like that as soon as that is complete. And of course, we'll plant more trees over here. This guy should be able to reach possibly to the other side of this, if not at least another halfway distance between here and here. Should be in pretty good shape for that. So that will help us substantially in addition, we have, I think in this district now, yeah, we have the manpower, beaver power, to turn these bot part factories back on, which we will go ahead and do. And then we're also going to continue building our lumber mills and our gear workshops to make sure we can keep everything supplied. Although we have 849 planks, so we might actually be good on planks. I don't know. You tell me. I think we're probably okay. But we can go ahead and put in some more of these gear workshops. We'll find a nice spot for those. I think we might even just go ahead and put them up here. Because, you know, there's really no reason not to. Now we only have room for two of these. But that's okay. Not going to hurt anything. So we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. And then, of course, we have our brand new district we started recently. We have a bunch of trees we can continue to plant in here. And we can continue to develop this district and allow it to house more beavers. And then eventually, sometime this episode, I want to come in here and start uh, automating some of this district. Not all of it, but some of it with some golems slash bots, what have you. And then, of course, we have our epic project of, well, blowing all of this up and getting more water storage up here at the top of our hill. So let's go ahead and put back on normal speed. That is so slow on normal speed. Detonate those guys. We'll put in one more staircase. Then I believe... I think I can reach most areas in here with how everything is set up right now. So we'll go ahead and, you know, just put a whole bunch of bombs down. Casual. 
it's going to take them probably a pretty good amount of time to actually, you know, set all of these up here. Make sure we don't have any strays outside. Looking good. Don't forget we have 11 days left in this drought, so they've got plenty of time to blow some of this up before these water sources start spewing water back in just under 11 days. And I think these guys working Lumberjack Flags should be able to get these. Oh, they're not done growing yet. Okay, that's fine. But we will go ahead and plant some more maple trees. I believe anywhere there is even the slightest little bit of green, we should be okay. Let's go ahead while we're up here to put in a teeth grindstone to take care of our beavers. And put in a few more of these. Of course, they'll have to come back and get these birch trees out of here. But that is what I call maximizing our space up here should be in really good shape. And of course, once we actually start harvesting wood, we will begin exporting using our distribution post. We just, uh, well, we only have 140. I guess we could theoretically start exporting, but uh, not really a concern at this exact moment. We do, however, also have all these metal runes over here. So what we're going to end up doing is connecting all of this down here, which I think the most convenient way to do that is going to be to move this staircase back one and then put down one of these guys and we'll go ahead and pause well actually no we can just uh we can just make two of these super low priority that way they'll go do something else I think we should have, yeah, we have planks, we have wood. They should be able to build both of those stairs, and then they'll automatically start taking care of that. And by they, I mean this one guy I have working in the district center. We're going to need to eventually get this up to 10. So let's check out how our population is looking. Uh, this district, District 1, we still have some vacancies, so I don't really want to take anybody away from there quite yet. However, we do have in this district three uh, bots that are not currently working. One of them is incapacitated. I assume that just means it needs power, which is fine. I think we're going to need to put in some of those charging stations. So let's take a look. I think, I guess I can't put anything there, but I can put two charging stations here which we'll go ahead and do. Those will get built eventually. Let's see. Okay, that's going to die in 0.9 days. Yeah, we need to prioritize this uh, whole thing right here. So let's go ahead and get that rolling. Uh, turn on turbo speed. See if these guys can build faster. Now if we oh okay now we're we're super dry. Super dry. That's not encouraging. Because we're in the middle of the night now and they're not going to uh they're not gonna finish getting that done. So I guess these trees Oh, that is annoying. For uh for this to die immediately after eleven days of growth. I mean, unless we can get uh something else going here, that's what it's looking like. How many builders do I have in this district? Is it just these four? I don't think I've built a builder's uh, builder's hut. Uh, I've got five unemployed. I think... Oh, oh they redesigned this, uh, this icon, I think. Builder's hut. We're just going to go ahead and build a builder's hut and unlock it for bots and have bots be builders. Because now we are losing these trees that are very very hard to grow and that is annoying oh it's not connected by paths are you kidding me 
Oh, jeez. I'm upset. All right. Oh, seriously, there's really no way around this. And these are the ones that are going to die in 13 days instead of two. Oh, come on, man. That is absolute garbage. Come on. Oh, well. Not much more you can do about that. Let's see, have they gotten... Uh, I guess they have gotten a head start on this. We don't have any... I have any available beavers, so we're going to have to start bringing some more over here. I just don't want to take... Oh, hold on. How did all this wheat die? I guess we have to have another water dump over here. That's uh, annoying. Alright, let's put in... Uh, I'm trying to think. because I want to put this in a good spot. I'm kind of worried right here is not going to reach all the way over there. Hmm. Well, probably doesn't matter anyway. We'll just put this here, and I think we're going to go ahead and put in another uh, pathway here. For literally no reason except the fact that we can. All right, how is... Okay, oh, now this has water attached to it. And we have some more space we can plant these trees. So let's go ahead and do that. How far out does this go? Oh, I didn't click it. Oh, did I just guess it correctly the first time? Okay. Cool, that is convenient. I guess I can just go ahead and uh, do all of this. I'll take it. I, I think if I didn't have to have these paths kink like this, I could get a little bit uh, a little bit further this way. Maybe. Oh, that still takes the same amount of space. All right. Never mind. We'll go ahead and just get rid of all of this. And plant more trees because there's literally no reason not to. All right. That is going to be helpful. Although, I guess I probably should have left room for some more of these lumberjacks. Unless we just have these, uh, these bots do all of it. That might actually be... Might actually be okay. Because they can work 24 hours. And they're pretty quick too. Now we have no available... How do we still have seven? Oh, we're making bots a lot faster now. Well, guess what? Gear workshops. You now have bots making the gears. Grist mills, I guess. Oh, I have so much science. I was saving up 5,000 to do the bot part factories from, well, the bots. So, I think that's probably the most logical next thing to research. Because we do have five of these, and we have six factories. We're going to have another uh, another bot kind of soon. That will take care of that. And once these guys don't have to uh, you know, work in the bot factory, then they're going to get a lot less injured. Which is, you know, just good for everybody involved. They can do more peaceful jobs. I'm going to make these builders because we have uh, almost unlocked. We just need a little bit more science. I imagine sometime soon this number will go up because we continually have this thing making more science. Okay, there we go. 5,015. Let's go ahead and research unlock robots. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. And preemptively, do that. 
we not making enough uh, power? We are not, because I paused all these. Okay, well, let's unpause those. I think we finally have enough. Well, we're starting to make enough gears. Should be, uh, should be an okay shape for that. That's looking good. This still hasn't been blown up. Oh, we don't have... Did I turn the explosives factory off? No, it's just all going over here. Yeah, okay. Well, that's perfectly fine by me. That is a-okay. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. Uh, okay, we have 40 of these. We need to have a storage for scrap metal. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a large warehouse. Find a nice place to put it. Probably right here is fine. Uh, we can't store scrap metal here. Never mind. I forgot that has to go in one of these. Or did we already uh, assign all these to logs? Logs and planks. Can I change this to... Mm, 180 is not going to be enough. Ah, we'll just we'll just build another one over here. That'll be fine. We'll just build ourselves another one of these suboptimal storage towers. That's fine. That should take care of most of our storage needs. Yes, I know you have nowhere to take your scrap metal, so you just have to sit there and do nothing while your friend toils tirelessly to build these. Okay, well, now you can just put your stuff in there. That's fine. Okay, we've got five days left. This is still... Oh, no, never mind. That is there. Let's put in our water dump. Let's get this thing built ASAP. Because eventually all of this is going to go away. And when it does, we'll be able to use this for more farmland. Not, well, not really a ton more farmland, but you get the idea. Not like we really need a lot more food. Look at all this. We have almost 10,000 food. We're going to be fine. Yeah, look at these guys go. Yeah, you build that thing real fast-like. There you go. Now somebody come dump water in here so we can move on with our lives. Beautiful. Look at all that green. You love to see it. Now they can plant the rest of this. Again, not that it really matters because it kind of doesn't. Okay, now we have water low enough here where it's starting to affect these trees. How far? 11 days. 15. Yeah, okay, we're going to be fine. Carrots are probably going to die, though. So that's exactly why I'm trying to blow a lot of this up. Is because we just need to increase the capacity. As long as we don't explode these rocks. Which again, I'm not sure if that's possible or not. I do not want to find out in a hard mode world that I'm using to make a YouTube Let's Play series on. That's something to uh, play with in the experimental section of the, uh, the game. Map generator. I know you're not hungry. We have so much food in this district. We have we have five thousand food. I think you're gonna be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and release some water here because that's getting pretty low, and we're not ever gonna go fully dry up here anyway. We'll be in good shape. I guess we can just kind of leave that all the way down. Yeah, there's no more water to come out of there either. Plus, I want them to finish, you know, putting a bunch of explosives here so we can just set all of it off at once. Yeah, we really don't have a lot of explosives. I guess I could have, if I really felt like it, could have built another explosives factory, but we just don't need it. 
it's kind of uh kind of superfluous. And that's just not a wise use of time or resources. I did plant trees here, right? What's the, what's this guy doing? What's up? Okay, you're just slow. That's fine. As long as you're doing your best. Now, speaking of doing your best, we have not really done too much with the rest of this well-being stuff. Uh, Mudbath obviously has to come after terraforming. But we can do stuff like, uh, you know, building carousels and temples and shrines. We haven't done any of that. And I know a lot of you really want to see more decorations. So since we're kind of in an okay spot right now, why don't we take a little bit of time and try to beautify some of this stuff? Before we do, though, I'm going to start bringing in golems to this first district. Well, mostly because we have the ability to do so. Let's find somewhere to put a golem. I think we can probably just turn the hauling post into uh, golem central. That's probably the easiest way to do it. And let's take a look at our stuff here. Now, I'm probably not going to expand the uh, the population too much. We just reached, well, we've been over 100 for a little while. But I think this is probably about the sweet spot we want to be at. Or we could just, you know, keep having these pods go until it just stabilizes. But presently, the way things are set up, we have 15 unoccupied uh, beaver jobs. And we have 11 kits or beaver children. So I think we're, we're in pretty good shape. I'm not inclined to uh, really push for too much more population. So I think we probably don't need to build anything else on top of these barracks, which means we can research roofs. Now you might be saying, wait, they can't reach this. That's absolutely correct. They cannot reach it. So actually, we have an opportunity here to do something a little silly and unlock some monuments here. We can do our Laborer Monument. We can do the Flame of Progress. We can do the Tribute to Ingenuity. Right now, I can only unlock the Laborer Monument. So why not do something silly like put this guy up on top of the uh, little housing right here? I just, I don't know. I end up doing this in almost every single uh, every single build I do. Of course, the reason you want to do this is so that every day, every beaver has to come within its influence at least a little bit. So you maximize your gains and then all that. But they can't reach up here, which means we have to build a path. So to do that, we're going to have to get creative. I think if I do this correctly, I know this is just like a middle school science fair in terms of how completely unnecessary most of this is, but that's going to let us get up to here. I don't want to click on that here, 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 and then we'll build across to here to build the rest of this, this scaffolding will end up coming down once everything is done. But this is an easy one to do because it just requires logs to build. So as soon as they finish this, they're going to be in pretty good shape to get that done. So that's going to be nice. Uh, we can build another one of them over here because this whole thing is extremely well set up for building on top of. So I think what we can do we should be able to reach all this from up here. Let's just go ahead and uh, make this stuff look a little nicer. And then right here we have this big area where two districts actually meet each other. So we could take an opportunity to do something interesting. Or we could just put roofs on top of everything and call it a day. I'm kind of inclined to prefer the second option at least on this side, which we can go ahead and 
kind of... Oh, I can't build over the shrubs, huh? I see how it is. Well, guess what? Bye bye shrub. You are no longer relevant. Your services are no longer needed. We'll be just fine without you. So, we'll go ahead and put in a couple more of these. And we have some extra space over here to try and do something. But we're going to have to have some way of getting up there. See, I kind of wish there were more uh, different roof pieces so I could do like a... Well, I guess I could just do this anyway. There's nothing stopping me, but... You have this little gap right back here where they're not going to connect. Or on like a real house, you'd have a, like a, like a gable, like a hip socket joint or what. I don't know what they call these things. I'm not a, not a roofer. I am a guy who plays city builder games in his spare time on YouTube. So don't take building advice from me. This will help just a little bit. And I think what we're going to want to do is find a way to start building stuff on top of these guys. I don't think they transfer power, so we're not going to want to put our last monument that we haven't unlocked yet. The Tribute of Ingenuity is not going to go up there. But I think it would be fun to put something else up here. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to end up being. But... I just, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Drought's over, though, which is good news for all of our arched trees and everything. These haven't been planted as maple trees, really? I thought we took care of that a long time ago. Oh, well. Now, this is a thing of beauty right here. I'm going to go ahead and detonate it just because I can... That drowned out the music. That's awesome. That will help us store a little bit more water. Yeah. We'll be in good shape here. We've already made just so much more room. Just waiting for this to fill up and then backfill this entire... This entire thing is dry, actually. Wow, that's the first time I've seen that happen. Yeah, it's going to take a while for this to fill up. But if it doesn't have to uh, come back out this side, then I think it's not going to take as long as we uh, originally thought. Well, we'll let that go for a little bit. They are starting to work on the roofing here. Waiting on the laborer monument. Let's see, I guess we probably... Yeah, we haven't actually started building this yet. Or this one. So I think what we'll go ahead and do might be a little boring, not super exciting. But if I put this here, then every beaver every day will see it and we'll get the uh, status effect from it. So we'll just do the exact same thing we did before. And that is, uh, I guess, a little metagamey, not super realistic or fun, but it does work. And this is not necessarily an aesthetic-themed build, although I would like to do one of those. A future, uh, future series, somebody suggested in the comments that I try something like that. I think that would be a lot of fun. So maybe, uh, maybe after this series is done in a few more videos, we could try that or try some mods or something. If you have any thoughts on that, let me know in the comments. I'm always always open to ideas. We'll see what we're able to uh, get done before the end of the year. I think it would be nice to have a short, maybe five or six episode series looking at a couple things to round out the rest of 2022. Hey, now we're getting backflow in here. Good. Making very, very good progress here. Can we blow something else up yet? No? Okay. Meanwhile, we haven't checked our population. Okay, that's looking good. We do have five golems that do not have a home. We don't have science really to put them in anything else. So I think what we'll go ahead and do is just start migrating some more golems over here. Go up to six. Have them put in the hauling post. And fill as many of the beaver jobs with beavers as we can. 
before we move on to do other stuff. As every step gets us closer to having some more guys in here to take care of all this. I think we can probably pretty safely just send a couple more beavers over here anyway and be fine. So I do think it's time for us to have the distribution post open here. We can add a route. I think we can probably just send uh, just send stuff right across here and not really worry about it. Let's say scrap metal and then logs. We're not currently importing logs. Okay, well, we're not going to do that anymore for sure. We're not going to do... Oh, that's right. I was going to build. I was going to build a water pump. Okay, well, this is perhaps a bit broken of a strategy here to try this. Maybe I don't want to put it on top of here. I guess we can just... Uh... Yeah, okay. I like doing that. We'll do that. We'll put in this thing right here, and then we'll put in a triple high right there. And then we will continue this, I think. I think this will put everything in the correct spot. Yep, sure will. But anyway, now that this is going to connect over here, then these guys, well, they're just kind of exporting almost nothing of consequence currently, except water and planks, which are... Eh, I guess you need them. But the haulers in this district, which are now all golems, will take everything from this drop-off point and ship it on over to here to be exported to the industrial zone, because now we can send all of our scrap metal over here and complete that cycle and refine it in our smelters that are currently turned off but will be turned back on very soon. I think we're looking good here. Oh yeah, it's time to go ahead and fill everything else back up. We do need to fill this up, so unfortunately we're not going to get quite as much done as I thought we were in this wet season, but you know, it's fine. I know we have at least another three full days. Most likely we're going to get that drought warning as soon as the sun comes up tomorrow in game. Which you know is not ideal, but could definitely be worse. Alright, I'm going to go ahead. District 4, which really is District 3. Just set that up to be 10 beavers. So they can get started sending stuff out. I think we'll be in good shape. None of these trees have grown yet anyway. So that's fine. We, we got to get this water flooded over here, though, for sure. Okay, yeah, that is going to be maximum height. Let this fill up and start cascading. Fortunately... This has backfilled beautifully. We do need to dynamite out a lot of this just to have more storage. We will eventually get there. It's kind of a uh, long process. But now that this is backfilling, shouldn't be too much longer to get all this taken care of. Then we'll be in good shape. Yep, there's that drought warning again. This should be just enough time to fill up all of this stuff and have a little bit of reserve trickling down over here to fill this all the way up. Yep. We are in very good shape. All right. And it's, it's going to be a while before we have 10,000 science to uh, lock these bot assemblers. But oh, I didn't want to click on that. We have only two incapacitated beavers, which is a fantastically low number. Considering all of the stuff they're still, uh, well, I guess, kind of having to do. In this district, still waiting on some more logs to do all of this. What other decorations? I mean, there's really not that much besides the roofs, the beaver statues. Which we don't really have a lot of metal right now because we had the smelters turned off 
to try and save our beavers from a horrible fate. But hey, guess what? We can unlock the workplace for uh, golems and have these guys do all of the dangerous work, which is, you know, kind of the whole point, kind of the goal. I think we're doing just fine. Stuff is looking good. Water levels are looking good. We've got plenty stored up. Our growth of population is starting to slow down just a little bit. I think uh, based off of this, it's probably going to equalize somewhere around 110, 120 adults, that is. I think that would be enough to uh, sustain us for a really long time, and then we could eventually even pair that number back a little bit if we so chose. Yeah, we are in good shape here. I kind of wanted to build another dam this uh, this past drought to try and fill this up and get a little bit more water storage. But, you know, again, we, we really don't need it. We've got plenty of water probably for the rest of the game at the rate things are going currently. So there's no real reason to uh, stress out about it too much. It's just fun to uh, to have a whole lot of stuff makes me feel like I've accomplished something, you know? So now, stuff is just going well. We wait. And to see if there's anything else we can do, short of just accumulate a bunch of science, which is going to be the ultimate goal to get these beavers that are gradually being pushed out of these uh, industrial jobs into high-tech scientific research. A noble pursuit. So let's see, what else in this district can we automate in the industrial zone? We currently have bot part factories are all automated, which is looking fantastic. We can't do bot assemblers yet. Builder's hut is still beavers, which, you know, I think that's a fine job for beavers. That's okay. Water pumps are still turned off because we really aren't using very much water in this district. Uh, distribution post hasn't been automated yet. That could be a good one. District center, the engines, again, we're not... There really shouldn't be any beavers working in engines. Let's uh, let's just completely decrease all of the uh, engines' priority because this is this is not something a beaver should be working in. That's not a we we really don't need this job. Explosives factories uh, we have not researched yet for golems. Farmhouses are a great beaver job actually. We already have so much food. I guess we could uh, get away with that. Gear workshops are all automated. The grills are all automated. That's a job that could easily be a beaver job. Uh, grist mills, not yet. Hauling post, of course. I think we're in... Uh... Ah, paper mills. We haven't done those yet. Scavenger flags. Okay, so we're actually doing pretty well. We could very easily... Kind of shuffle things around but we have we already have number crunchers and those take power which we're oh we're almost completely uh completely level on power consumption so we kind of don't want to mess with that i guess we could just build a couple more inventors and give some bored beavers something to do with their idle time where am i going to fit one of these actually right here is probably not a bad spot just uh at the end of the road. Yeah, look at them go. Okay, that's probably good. That'll be one beaver job. There they go. They still haven't built... Uh... Oh, I didn't build any way for them to actually get up here. That is my bad. Hey, there we go. All-time high on this playthrough of 17 happiness. That's good to see. All right, now this is going to uh, this is going to irritate some of you, but I've got to build these roofs, and I can't uh, I can't get them up any other way. So let's. Uh, oh, here comes the drought. Twenty three days. Okay, we can handle that. I just got to build a couple of these. just to build those roofs right there. Now this is looking, well, this looks kind of janky, but this is fun.
to have the monument right in the middle of the housing right there. I think it's fun, at least. Now, let's see. Where else can we put? Because we're going to have to put in the Flame of Progress and then the Tribute to Ingenuity. So, I think both of those are going to end up going probably right around here. Uh, the Tribute to Ingenuity very, very obviously needs to go right here next to this engine. We'll probably have to build a second engine to uh, take care of the rest of that stuff. But the Flame of Progress could, um, we could build a little, uh, little area right here for that. Of course, we can't research it quite yet. Let's see what else. I'm trying to think. Can I spare more beavers to the pursuit of science? Okay, I don't need four in the distribution post to do that. I definitely don't. Builder's Hut can be a low-priority job. I think we can get away. I remember, like, episode one or two when I said I'd be moving these science inventors. Yeah, that never happened. Uh, let's go right here on this dry part. Put two of these in. No reason not to, right? Now, how is our... Uh, how's our explosives looking? Okay, that's looking pretty good. We'll let this uh, continue going as it needs to. Why is there just one of these? All right, well, that's blown up now. That's fine. Oh, there, we could have been planting trees down here this whole time. Why haven't we? I guess there's really no reason to, but hey, guess what? I feel like doing it, so we'll do it. I think these guys can reach. They can actually reach further than the uh, forester can. Well, we'll give these guys something to do. And you got all these trees. There you go. Start taking those. We'll, we'll start planting more trees while they're doing that. Just try to uh, keep ahead of things, I guess. That'll give him something to do in the meantime. Let's see what else. We have two golems that don't have anywhere to go presently. What other jobs can we find for them? I mean, I guess I guess we could turn on the deep water pumps. We don't need to. It really is not that big of a deal. Now, in this district, things should start growing. Okay, well, I guess toward the end of the episode, maybe. Well, we're already toward the end of the episode. We're like 42 minutes in. Oh, my. We've become so efficient, so optimated, optimated, optimized now. There's really not too much more left for us to do at this exact moment, which, you know, is fun because that means we've done a good job. But also lets us know that we're getting pretty close to the end. Of course, we still have all this stuff to do, which we will, in, in due time, we will do. I guess we can start by putting some shrines out. Just find some unoccupied bits of land to put these things for beavers to use and enjoy. Really no rhyme or reason either way to where some of this stuff is going. But uh, part, of that, part of that's fun. To see, like, hey, what kind of a uh, kind of a trouble can I get myself in? There's no maple syrup here. Now, why is that? We're actually are we out? Don't tell me we've sucked all the maple syrup dry in this entire area. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna unmark all of these for cutting, and we'll just use that for maple syrup. How's how's that? Because we have so many maple trees. We have an unfathomable amount of maple trees. We really don't need it anymore. Realistically, we're never going to have all these grow and be cut anyway. But it is still kind of fun to have them, you know? Okay. We haven't done a carousel yet. We don't have the power infrastructure. We haven't even done gravity batteries. We're on cycle 21. We haven't done gravity batteries. 
Oh, man. That's, like, unthinkable to me. Because it's such a mainstay of what we normally end up doing. And now I gotta now I gotta think about where I'm gonna put those. Cause we've been so kind of reserved on the amount of industrial like this is not a lot of industrial stuff. This is like, I don't know, a dozen buildings maybe? Well, this pushes it closer to two dozen, our little golem construction tower. But we really we haven't missed the gravity batteries, and we have so much wood it doesn't really matter that we're burning so much of it. I know it's not super optimal gameplay to be doing that all the time but you know it's really not that bad not that bad of a thing i do think however we can go ahead and maybe just attach the gravity batteries to the other side of this whole thing I just have this entire uh this entire line of uh stuff be gravity batteries just build this entire thing and see what else we can do I think I think this should still be in the uh, transit wow they're building those really fast in the uh, I don't know what the word would be for it maximum path distance we'll, we'll say that so we'll build six high and again, this really, this just should not be a problem because we have engines, but just to say we did it, I think we can pretty safely just kind of, you know, build a couple of these and just say, hey, we did it. We did it. We're done. It happened. Stuff should be fine. But one of the uh, interesting problems we're going to run into that I remember about these these guys is that you can only have power outputs on the center of each of the four sides. So what we're going to have to do instead is come out of here with a... I think this is going to... Yeah, we'll have to do one of these numbers. And then we'll just have gravity batteries all the way down here. And in the meantime, we'll come along this side, just blow this whole thing all the way down to bedrock. I actually, okay, that's not very super tall. Eh, it'll be all right. They're not going to be a very high gravity battery bank, but we really don't need that much power. We're not using that much of it. Now are things going over here? We're pretty much even on the amount of uh, vacancies versus workers. And actually, we could send a couple more golems over. Because we do have four. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring this up to an even ten. And they're all going to work in the hauling post. So that means anything from this point on, golem-wise, that we bring over, there we go, is going to be pure gravy to replace some sort of other job. Which is exciting, because that means that we won't have to have any more beavers, and we can allocate bodies to, well, other districts. Ah, we're hungry. Because we're not importing food. How did I get away with that? Honestly, though, how in the world have we just been starving beavers to death in this thing the whole time? Mm, there's no evidence of that in this scroll bar. But I haven't been paying attention, so it's entirely possible we've just been starving beavers to death the whole time. That's horrible. All right, um, let's fix this immediately. with bread and carrots and all of the food. Man, that is, uh, would love to say I am surprised at myself, but I'm really not. Okay, got bread, carrots, grilled potatoes, grilled ch chestnuts was the next one, okay. 
All right, and we can go ahead and set the distribution limits to all of those foods to 200 because that's what the capacity of our warehouse is for each of those. Uh, 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 grilled chestnuts to not O2, well, whatever. It's going to be the same thing anyway. All right, just fix that for my sake of my sanity. All right, well, that is thoroughly embarrassing that I let that happen because we are very hungry in this district. Ah, okay. Well, they'll be all right. We'll, we'll start bringing stuff over in the morning. Not going to be a big deal. Although I think I might have beaver riots if I starve any more beavers to death. Or at the very least, riots in the comment section. And deservedly so, because, you know, you shouldn't be starving beavers. That just it's kind of common courtesy to, you know, take care of your employees, take care of your charges. So that's uh, unfortunate there. Uh, oh, you know what we never did? And I was talking about this in the comments. We never actually built the large tank. Oh, that's a big boy right there. Okay. Now, where can I put one of these? Because we don't need to store fuel. This is really just for water, and it's 12... 100. 1200 water. That's a lot of water. I gotta find a good spot for this bad boy. Could just put one, uh, another one over here. Make this for maple syrup. Make this for water. We'll just, we'll do that. Uh, do I have any metal in this district? I have 20. Good. So that will gradually start being uh, built there. Just because of how absurd it would be. I think it would be really funny for us to have a huge water storage in this district. So for literally no reason, they will never need this much. Let's just, let's do that. That sounds, uh, that sounds funny. Which means we can also put in gears and we can put in metal blocks because why not? We'll let them have their fun with that. Big old giant water storage tank, which of course means now this district needs one. All right, going's kind of kind of slow up here. I guess we started using uh all of the planks. Or is it uh Oh, it's the uh, the logs. Well, we have plenty of trees. I just have to get cut. Now, where am I going to put this giant tank? Oh, even... I forgot I put this guy here last time. Well, that's good. We needed that. Do I want to put another level of storage on top of here and just have it be completely unnecessary amounts of water stored in here. I honestly, I think if I put three of these giant tanks up here, I could probably store enough water to just delete the pumps for the rest of the playthrough. That would be kind of a terrifying, uh, terrifying prospect, wouldn't it? You know, I never actually built any storage for the golem parts. Bot parts, whatever. Should I have done that? I probably should have. I don't I kind of just want to be stupid and build these enormous tanks on top of this thing. Would that be out of pocket? I think it would. I think that's not the uh not the correct thing to do. Oh, I could just put one back here. That'll be fine. Don't worry, I get to fill it with medicine. 1,200 of that. How about that, huh? All right, so that'll get us a giant tank in every single district once it's, you know, actually done. Where's all my metal going in here? Am I, am I just not importing metal? No, we're, we're exporting metal. I guess they're just 
using it. Well, regardless, uh, last couple minutes of this playthrough, we can go ahead and play through this episode. We're not ending yet, don't worry. We can unlock the Flame of Progress. 400 planks. I gotta find a spot to put this bad boy. I gotta stop calling these things bad boys. That's just weird. Oh, 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 oh. New fun idea. Let's just do this. I like that idea. They should be able to build that pretty quickly, actually. Because we have 620 planks in, in this district ready to go. All right. Um, over here. Where am I going to put that? I had the idea I was going to put something in a fun spot. Uh, maybe I could put on top of... Uh, How much storage do I have for planks in here? Oh, okay, yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go ahead and put in... Four of these little storages. We'll make them all for planks. Because why not? Store the materials to make the monument underneath the monument. And also, it's probably a good idea to actually, you know, have planks in this district. And there we go. That'll reach every, every single beaver at least once per day. That'll be a good spot if, I don't know, kind of strange looking. These poor guys in this district just get absolutely no respect for all their, all their hard work. Unless I were to put a statue. This, this is just getting out of, out of hand at this point. I'm trying to come up with, uh, <laughs> trying to come up with a good excuse to waste resources and waste time. Why not? I guess there's really no harm in that. Okay. How are we uh, doing here? We have nobody. Okay. That's fine. More importantly, blowing stuff up. Yes, let's do that. I'm very afraid. I'm very afraid it's going to blow up these water sources if I get too reckless with it. But let's just go ahead. Okay, that's good. We didn't blow them up. I don't think I'm going to be messing with this and going any lower than this. So I, th I think we're going to be okay in that regard. But this will really, really help us store more water. I mean, like we really need it. Wow, really? This is the first one? The first one done. Okay, I guess this one is already being filled up. But let's go ahead and empty all of these to go into the big boy. Then we can get rid of all these little ones and put in fun stuff that they might want to use, like, I don't know, a teeth grinder or a medical bed or a shrine. Or anything. Because we haven't done any... We haven't even put a campfire in this district yet. That's something we can, uh... We can be a little better about, is being conscientious of our beavers' needs and wants. Okay, shrine. We'll just put, uh... I guess right there is fine. Campfire. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. You know, they're still making Spongebob episodes, and that, that show came out in 99. There's nothing Nickelodeon will not absolutely abuse for profit, it seems. Oh, well. Good show. The jokes in the original four seasons still really hold up, which is surprising. It's 20, 23 years old. See campfire there. We could do a rooftop terrace or two. All right, eighteen. That's that's a good number of that's a good number of happiness. Wow, fantastic, fantastic grammar there. Uh, where can I put a? Wow, is this full of pine resin? It's almost yeah. All right, this guy should be pine resin and maple syrup. 
Maybe I should have another tapper shack over here. He's just kind of going really slow. Really slow. Alright, prioritize the maple then. Because we already have we have a ton of pine resin. We haven't started using any of it yet. We are about at that point where we should probably start wrapping up today's episode anyway. Man, look at all this progress we've made. I cannot believe. We haven't done anything over here either. In between these two districts, we've done absolutely nothing. And yes, this probably would be a good spot for gravity batteries, but... Eh. Then I'd, ha I'd have to run either a channel with uh, power stuff buried in there, or build this giant uh, thing to transfer power all the way. I just don't want to do that. I might still do something interesting up here. I'm not entirely sure what it will end up being, but I mean, I think for right now, this is this is probably perfectly fine. Just let these guys build here. We have five extra golems. Bots. Well, I'm, I'm never going to get used to calling them that. Let's send them over to district number one. Which now means district number one has five golems to do other stuff with. I think it's probably going to make the best impact as... water pump operators. Even though this is, uh, these are all pretty much full. I'll just make three of them water pump operators. And then, mm, I don't, I'm not going to spend the science on that. I guess I could, I could make them builders, or I could just, uh, put them in a farm. That's probably the, uh, best way to do it. How are we doing on water here? All right, that's uh, that's progress. How's uh, how's this one? How full? Only seventy four. Okay, well, I guess we'll just start uh, having all the water pumped in over here. That sounds like a good time, huh? Yeah, just start filling it up. I like that idea. Do we have enough to uh, blow all this up yet? We sure do. All right, that's progress. You know what that means? Yep, you guessed it. Even more dynamite. That's fine. We're gonna we're just gonna keep on going till we can't go anymore on that. I have a big ugly scar across our beautiful industrial landscape of just big heavy rocks on stilts that when they go down we get more power. That makes perfect sense. That's fine. You know, I noticed this guy hasn't uh, hasn't built out here, which I guess means he's probably just busy, maybe? I don't know. It's not really that big of a deal. I'm kind of reluctant to turn these other water pumps on because I know it's just going to drain this super fast. So maybe we won't won't mess with that. Now, this district now has six beavers that are doing absolutely nothing. So guess what that means? It's time for science. In the bold pursuit of beaver knowledge, we will construct a large quantity of science buildings. And employ those beavers studying whatever it is they study so we can get more science points. So we can unlock all sorts of other garbage. We're actually a lot further on the flame of progress than I thought we would be. This one's already done. Wow. Wow. I kind of wish the sounds layer. That would be funny. Oh. Do these guys have their uh, monument to labor? They sure do. It's always nice to see uh, stuff like that. So I think this is probably going to be where we're going to end up leaving it with the uh, addition of our wonderful scientists here. But yeah, another successful episode. We are just really uh, 
really cranking it out now. We have, I guess at this point, probably two or three episodes left. Remember that we still have to have the, enough science to unlock this final monument at uh, the Tribute to Ingenuity. We have a couple more decorative things we could do. We got to build all the terraforming stuff. We got to build a carousel, temple, and all that. And then uh, I guess there's a couple other things we could maybe play with if we felt like it, like these metal platforms and try to do big stacked water storage or whatever. But, you know, I think we're doing fine. I am pretty satisfied with this. Of course, not everything has gone exactly according to plan, but whatever does, right? It's very rare that stuff is just perfect. And I think we can be pretty happy with most of what we've uh, done here. Oh, I have to put a uh, path in here for these guys to finish this. That's, a, that's all right. But yeah. Once again, we're halfway through the drought. We have 10 days left in the drought here in cycle 21 which we will complete next episode and along with another wet season and maybe another drought depending on how uh, how long they are yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate each and every one of you taking time out of your day to watch these uh silly little beaver videos it's a whole lot of fun having you here i'm very very grateful to each of you and i hope we can uh continue enjoying this game for a very very long time to come like I said, we're very close to the end of this series, and earlier in the video I did say that I want to do at least one playthrough with some other mods, and I want to do an aesthetic-focused playthrough. The aesthetic one might actually be first, because that could be a fun way to end out the year on a shorter playthrough, maybe on easy difficulty, just to try and focus on making stuff that looks nice instead of, we need to build a whole bunch of stuff right now or else all the beavers are going to die. Plus, I haven't done easy mode yet. I've only ever played on normal. So that'll be a fun thing to check out. But yeah, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, any ideas, suggestions, or anything else that's on your mind, please leave a comment. I am always reading the comments. I read every single one, even the ones posted on old videos. And I respond when I can, although we're starting to get to the point now where it's just not going to be possible for me to respond to every single comment. Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes when you start getting a bunch of comments. So I guess it's a good problem to have. But regardless, feel free. Lend me your thoughts or just anything else you want to say. And I will look forward to interacting with you in that way. And of course, we have plenty more coming. We're on the daily grind at least through the end of 2022. And then we'll see what happens uh, next year. But I am definitely still wanting to do as many videos as I can. Hey, more, uh, more beaver happiness. That's always a good sign. But yeah. Whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, I hope you have a fantastic one. Stay safe, have fun, and until we see you next time, well, you know what we say. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.